Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. I'm here today with part two of my Christmas shopping haul. Um, I've done a bit more Christmas shopping since my last video was filmed. Um, I'm almost finished. Got one or two things to forget. But um, I'm going to show you what I picked up on this trip. Um, I'm not going to show you what I got family because... I know my niece and nephew sometimes watch these videos so I don't want them to see anything so I will just show you what I've got friends so I'm going to start by showing you what I got from Primark for my friend Emma who is coming to our house for Christmas this year so first thing I got her was the Simpsons fleece blanket to go with her duvet cover she got when we were in Edinburgh and that was six pounds it's really soft so I got her that and then I seen this and couldn't not get it for her because she loves cats so I got her the Marie fleece um onesie and that's what it looks like and it was 16 pounds for that one then a few little knickknacks i got for her were oh it's just these were these little baubles um for a pound they are to go in her Christmas stocking that I'm doing for her, which you will see coming up. Then for our friend Carol Ann, I picked this mug up, and that was six pounds. And I'll probably put hot chocolates um in there along with something else. And then for my gran. I'm also doing her a little gift basket. I got her this two packs of nail polishes. And they were £2 each. So I think that's everything from Primark. And then, again for Emma, I got her two pairs of socks that were on clearance in New Look. Now, Emma absolutely loves Halloween. She gets excited about Halloween the way I get excited about Christmas. So the first pair I got her were these ones. And they were a pound. And then I got these cosy fluffy ones for a pound fifty. So they will also go in her Christmas stocking. Um. Where will I go next? I'll show you what I got from Amazon because there's only two things and these two go together. These are for my friend Christine. Uh, I got her this emergency tea, tea bag stash tin. I got one of these, I think it was last year from my sister Denise and I use it every day. So I got Christine that which I will link below in the description box and then to go with it I got her her favourite tea bags so that's part of Christine's Christmas presents just keeping an eye out the sitting room window for my mum and dad coming back because I've tried to film this video four times now so hence why I'm rushing a wee bit and also apologise for my breathlessness. I am on new medication to bring the pressure behind my eye down. It was really high. Um, so the side effects from the tablet are breathlessness. That's just one of the side effects I'm experiencing. Um, I'll show you what I got from the range. 
just two things again. First was this Enchanted Swan Shaker card kit, which I got to make for my gran, as I always get her a special Christmas card. I always make it for her. And then for me, I got this, um, like Santa sack, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's got a giant unicorn on the front of it, and it says, believe in the magic of Christmas. Again, I will try and link that below. I think this was 2 this Santa sack and I think the Christmas card kit was the same price I know it was on clearance that is all I can remember <laughs> Um. so yeah that's from the range I'll show you what I got from our local everybody's got Adobe's I'm guessing anyway show you what I got from Adobe's so First up are two little key rings for Emma, Crazy Cat Lady, no it's not, well she is a Crazy Cat Lady but that's his Crazy Cat Person and an E. They were, I won't say 2 99 each. And then for my friends Christine, Heather and Ellie, I got them each one of these foldable shopping totes and they're all different designs and they were 4 99 each so that's to go in their little gift bags that I'm doing um, I love spoiling people at Christmas if you haven't already noticed <laughs> um, I'll show you what I got from Matalan so first up is this Star Wars mug so it looks like that one is cold and that one is hot and this was seven pounds this is for Caroline's fiance I felt bad getting her a present and not him so that is for him uh, I got this little candle for my Auntie Heather, who is my mum's best friend, and it is frosted apple scent, and I'm not joking, it smells amazing. So, got that. That was £3. They had like a bigger one that was about the size of a Yankee candle for 5 which wasn't a bad price. I just got her that as a little extra. Then, for me, i seen this and thought it would be good to wear to work. Is this polka dot, or snow, I don't know what you want to call it, um, shirt with candy canes all over it. And this was 12 50 They did have another one. I think I had gingerbread on it. Could be wrong. I'll see if I can link this one and the other one in the description. So that is everything from Matalan. Now on to the works. So I picked up another 2020 diary for Christine. Because now everybody in that group of friends has one. I did get a pen but I don't know where I put it. Then for Emma I got her this little calendar and diary set. Again has to have a cat on it of course. There we go. Uh, and then Then another present for Emma is some art supplies. She loves to paint. So I got her this set of 
18 acrylic paints sorry about the glare and this was eight pounds it's quite heavy i got her that and to go with it i got her a pack of three canvases for three pounds they are cheaper in home bargains and stuff then i got her a little palette for a pound and then two packs of paint brushes this one was 350 and these three ones were a pound so i thought that was quite a good little present to give now on to me then so here is emma's stocking it's so cute and of course it's got a little e on it and this was 2.99 and then some little bits to go inside it are some ferrero rushes and now that i think about it i can't remember where these came from i think it was the pound shop so i got her those Uh, a little cat's dress ball for £2.50 I got her a little shopping bag and that is the design on it and this was £3 I got her a little sign one cat short of crazy not wrong and then uh, this little mug for four pounds. Um, looking at the amount of stuff that I've got to put in her stocking, because I got her some other bits that I don't want to show on camera because I don't want to promote smoking and what have you. <laughs> but the amount of stuff I've got to put in her stocking. I don't think everything's going to fit. Never mind. Then for my friend Chris, I got him this. He's really into his golf. So I got him this little golfer's accessory kit. And this was £5. Thought that would be a good little extra for him. So that is everything from B&M. Two more shops to go. On to Home Bargains next. So I'll show you this first. I got Emma this candle. Uh, smells amazing. Uh, this is a crackle wick and from what she's told me these are quite expensive. But I got this in Home Bargains for I think it was 5 99 don't know where else sells them more for how much but I'll just double check my receipt yeah that was 5 and then hmm. sorry guys I'm just looking at my receipt I got Emma two packs of her favourite Chocolates, I got her some picnic and crunchies. It's taking me all my willpower not to eat the crunchies. I think they were, I want to say they were like 99 pence each. Can't see them on my receipt. Ah, here we go. Yeah, 99p for those. Then, i seen this hat and I couldn't leave it behind and it actually fits my little noggin. And I thought it'd be perfect for when I go to Edinburgh next month to the Christmas market. It is a little unicorn fluffy hat. And this was... 
Det er nok ikke et tag kys. No pegs on that. So we have walls. I see it on here. Two nine nine from a wee half. Then got Emma this mug because I'm gonna do it a Christmas Eve box with some jammies and some hot chocolate. So I got her this cat mug, which she will freak at. And the wee mug was. Hmm. I think the mug was 99p as well. Wouldn't have been any more than that. Then for Granny's gift basket, I got her some simple cleansing wipes for her bikes. Or, yeah, face. <laughs> um, I'm starting to get a bit delirious now. They were £1.89. For those, uh, got Gran a little diary as well. Don't know if she uses one, but got her it anyway. And that was ninety nine p. Was it? No, that was sixty nine p. Bargain. Then. Oh, these were from Tesco's. Don't know how they got muddled up in the home bargain stuff. But everybody who's getting a present from me is getting chocolate coins. So, got those. They are, from what I can remember, 59 pence from Tesco's. Then, because Emma's coming over, I thought it would be funny to get some photo booth props and they were 99 pence for 12 so I think we'll have a right laugh with them and then to put everything in I got this ginormous polka dot bag for £1.79 now Last place is Pets at Home, but of course Michelle, and I got her this little, what the heck do they call it, a Brussels sprout squeaky toy, I'm not going to squeak it because then she'll want it, and she was £3, I might go back and get her the other one as well, so I got her that for her Christmas. And, of course, she had to get an advent calendar, so I got her the Lily's kitchen advent calendar for £10. And you might think £10 a lot for a dog's advent calendar, but actually they're really good value because you get sometimes three treats to one door, so... I think they're pretty good and Michelle likes them. So that's all that matters. Anyway, finally managed to do that haul before my mum and dad come home from work. I am now going to stuff it all in that big bag and make a cup of tea. So thank you for sticking around. Um, we're nearly 20 minutes. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments box I will do my best to link the bits I said I would in the description box you guys take care and I'm sure I'll speak to you all again before Christmas bye bye